Good morning to the people. How y'all doing? It's Do Better Dawn. And as usual, we rocking with the Lord. It's daytime flow. Put your shades on. Yo, uh, as usual, if you like, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell a friend. You know, we talk about spirituality. We talk about growth and development. You know, I'm a uh, lifestyle coach in training. You know, so every day I'm learning and I'm applying different things to my life, and I do my best to share with the masses. Now, today, I want to talk about the shape that black people are in, you know, particularly within my generation. I'm 42 years old, and um, although I feel like we're still in some form of disarray, you know, a lot of us are becoming conscious of our actions and how it's affecting everyone else. I mean, because I believe that it's our generation that needs to, you know, rebridge the gap. You know, you got the elderly that's above us, and then you got the adolescents that's that's beneath us. And within our generation, somehow, some way, we lost our way. Maybe it's through technology, you know, and um, spirituality is real. So, you know, Lucifer, you know, he caught us from the blind side, you know, but now we got to bring it back. You know, we got to eradicate a lot of different things out of the out of out of our system. You know, the envy, the envy, the hate, the jealousy, you know, all of those things that's keeping us from growing as a people. Right now in this day and time, it's a lot of different unique things going on to where is we need to think collectively as a people to bring peace to our life. You know, particularly black people, you know, um We've always had this competitive spirit, which on one hand is cool as long as it stays cool, but it got out of hand, you know, and everybody felt like they wanted to be the top dog. And that same type of mentality has us right now in limbo. You know, uh, we got caught up in chasing the wrong things and, and we neglected a lot of important things in our life. You know, like the real rights that keeps this society weaved together. You know, maybe 10, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, the Lucifer entity came in a way and um, strategically broke that whole fabric down and left us with the remnants of what society is today. And it's going to take people, real intellectual beings, to come back you know, land back on this planet, put your feet back firm, firm, and reconfigurate the way that things are. You know, we need communication back in the equation. You know, we need to stop hating and envying and 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 just being hecklers, man. You know, that same mentality has us in limbo right now, to where we can't budge one way or another, and everybody's looking for some type of direction. But then, you know, everybody wants to feel like, you know, they can get this without giving something. Now, in order to be a great leader, you have to understand when it's important for you to follow. And even even, even as much, it's not necessarily following. It's opening your ear genuinely to conversations, to situations that you would need to be a part of. It's okay that you might not know this. It's okay that you might not know that. There's other things that I'm sure that you may know that could contribute to this pot that we have to put together in order to create a, a, a realistic, humbling, peaceful future for the next generation. We have to accept the fact that if we couldn't make it right within ourselves, then it's time for us to make it right for the next generation so they don't have to experience the hardships that we went through. You know, we depleted ourselves with a lot of different things. Partying, drugging, drinking, we depleted ourselves with it. And now we just at a point in time in our life where is, you know, there is really no other choice other than to make these right changes, positive, positive refreshing changes because it feels good. You know, we are our own worst enemies. We beat ourselves up a lot. You know, so now it's time to start healing ourselves because nobody else is going to do it for us. You know, I don't have no problem with, with showing love to my black people or anybody 
Because it's easier to show love than hate. Hate, it just, there's no winning when you're a hater. None. You know, and there's really no future in it either. You know. Like I said, man, this is Do Better Don. You know, I'm a lifestyle coach in training. I'm always in school. Once you feel like you know it all, that's when you fail. You know, um, there's always so much more we could talk about. But I just want to get this word out there. You know, this early morning flow, early traffic flow type conversation. You know, I hope everybody have a blessed, peaceful day. Peace.